Good morning, everyone. I hope that your day is off to a great start. I'm very excited to be doing children's moments this morning because we're talking about a very interesting story, but also an important story that teaches us a really good lesson. And that is Jonah and the whale. So a little show and tell to begin with, I'm gonna show you my pet whale. And no, it's not Zara. This is my cat. I have my own whale. Just kidding, it's just a fish. This is Angel, my beta fish. And Angel is a lot smaller than the whale that we are gonna be talking about today, or the fish that we're gonna be talking about today. So the story of Jonah and the whale goes like this. God asked Jonah to go to a city where the people weren't really behaving. They weren't really acting the way that God intended them to act. They were being mean to each other. They were bullying each other. So God said, hey, Jonah, I need you to go to this city and I need you to help these people and tell them how they should be treating each other with love, respect, and kindness. And Jonah said, huh, I don't really feel like doing that today. So instead, Jonah got on a boat and went the opposite way of where God had intended him to go. And so while Jonah was on this boat, he was with other people, a storm came, a crazy, crazy storm, and everyone was terrified. And Jonah said, huh, I think that maybe God sent this storm because I disobeyed him. So why don't you guys throw me overboard and then the sea will become calm. And so that's exactly what they did. They threw Jonah overboard and the sea did become calm. But when Jonah was in the ocean, a big fish came. Some say it was a whale, but it was a massive fish, way bigger than Angel, and swallowed Jonah. So Jonah was living inside the stomach of this massive fish. And while he was in the stomach, he prayed to God. He asked God for forgiveness. He asked God for help because he was in the stomach of a fish. And sure enough, three days later, the fish, the whale, whatever you want to call it, threw Jonah up onto dry land and he was okay again. So Jonah was kind of put in a timeout from God because he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't listening to what God had asked of him. And so God said, hmm, I'm gonna put you in a timeout in a whale's stomach. So I don't think that you guys go to timeout in a whale's stomach. I've never been there, but it is important to listen to God. Whatever God asks of you, pray to him ask him for help, ask him for advice, guidance, um, because we don't want to end up in a whale's stomach, am I right? <laughs> so anything that we can learn from Jonah, it's to follow God, to pray to God, to ask God for help and guidance and assurance so that we can make this world a better place, so we can be kind to everybody and, and teach others how to act with God's love, spreading his light, around everywhere we go to everybody that we meet. So I hope that none of you have to go to timeout today, but if you do, just remember Jonah and the whale. Have a great day. Bye.